God has been good. Well, they say all the time. God, all the time, God is good. Amen. So, um, if we could um, bother you this morning or get you excited this morning, we would invite your attention to the book of Second Corinthians or Second Letter to the Church at Corinth. Book of Second Corinthians, chapter number four. Two verses. Amen. Verse 8 and verse 9. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 and 9. When you have, you can rise on your feet as we reference our word. Amen. When you have found it, go ahead and say amen. 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 Praise amen. God. Praise God. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 and 9, find these words. We are troubled on every side. Yet, not to stress. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Well, I thought for today, as we honor this last Sunday, African American History Month, not History Month, as we come to the close of our series, we want to entitle the subject today, we are still standing. We are still standing. So as we appreciate and as we celebrate and commemorate Black History Month or African American History Month, we should be so honored to remember those who opened doors and who paved the way and who went that extra mile, who sacrificed and gave their life for equal rights and freedom. Let us not forget, and let us be very, <clears throat> very mindful that we are still living with the remnants of slavery. Yeah, yeah, slavery was abolished in 1865. But believe that, 157 years later, we are still living with the remnants of slavery, still living with the ripple effects of hatred and racism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are still hitting at somebody. We're still on that slippery slope of racial discrimination. Oh, let's be real about this thing. But however, we are still standing today. Because of the contributions of the likes <clears throat> Miss Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King Jr., Shirley Chisholm, Megan Evans, who was assassinated, shot in his back in his own driveway, come from an NWCP, had a t shirt, Jim Crow was thrown, shot in his back, own driveway. It took 30 years. I didn't say three, I said it took 30 years for his convict, to convict his killer. Still on that slippery slope of racial inequality. So therefore, we should never become so self informed and self entitled and self important and self righteous that we can forget from where we come and who helped us to get to where we are. We should never become so comfortable and complacent and satisfied as to say our fight is over. Yeah, we have finally arrived. And as people of color, we still got some battles to fight. Still got some mountains to climb. Still got some troubled waters that we're trying to get across. Still got some valleys that we got to try to come out of. Still got some eyes to dot some T's to cross to get it all right. Still, now down, my brothers and got some jobs. We still got to fight that. Still, him and now, still, real mix of racial. Still got some demons. We got to rebuke and cast out in the name. Jesus. When we look back at that rich history, 
as some things and some situations that were supposed to take us out. And for those who wanted to take us out, we are still standing because of G, 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 God. They, they still standing because F O G. You know what it is, the favor of God. So we have to hold our ancestors and those freedom fighters in the highest regard and respect because of the price that they paid for us to be where we are today. Yet we are still standing for all those people in the past that stood on the promises of God. Still standing because when we look back, they didn't give up, they didn't give in, and they didn't give out. Yeah. We are still standing despite what the enemy did to us and did do for us and did against us. Yeah. Despite what they did, we didn't go into hiding. We didn't keep silent. We didn't crumble. We didn't throw in the towel. We didn't buckle. And we didn't clap. And we didn't get that low flag and say, I surrender, y'all take over. We didn't throw the towel in and say, I surrender. We're still standing. The enemy formed a weapon of hatred and racism and injustice against us when it did not prosper. And I like what the little story. Joseph, I'm going to quote it to you. Joseph and the brother didn't have this thing against Joseph. They formed a weapon against the old brother. But Genesis chapter 50, verse 20 says, But as for you, come. You thought evil against me. Come. But God meant unto good. Come, come. To bring it to pass, come. As it is this day, come to save much people alive. Period. <laughs> oh, I know you all know what the time is, but the period says it ain't over until God says it's over. What the enemy meant for evil, God turned into good. So we can say it loud and we can say it proud. In the midst of it all, we are still standing. We can look at ourselves and feel good that we should have taken us out. And for those who wanted to take us out, instead made us more determined, made us more focused and more committed. He made us stronger as a people. That's what Paul says in Romans 8 through 7. In all these things, not one or two things, but in all these things, we are more than conquerors to him who loved us. You see, our enemies hate us without reason, hate us without cause, but God loved us just in the hand. Yeah, our enemies and what should have taken us out. And for those who want to take us out, it made us yeah, take them out. It made us more courageous. Do you, do you mind if I make three points about being courageous? Courage moves us beyond our limitations. Courage moves us to believe in ourselves. Courage just like that little old nursery rhyme, nursery rhyme. The, little, the, the, the little engine that could. <laughs> the, the, the little blue engine said, I never ever pulled a train up and over the mountain, but I think I can. <laughs> I think I can. And I got to tell today, sir, look, that courage will tell you, I know I can, I know I can, I know I can. Take God, man. Mm -hmm. Courage number two helped us to grab hold 
of the opportunities God has placed in our path. Then Revelation 3 said, God will open up some doors that no man can shut. Mm -hmm. Then he will shut some doors that no man can close. Mm -hmm. Not you glad this morning. Mm -hmm. That when he opened doors of opportunities for us to come in, went mm -hmm. in with a head filled high. Mm -hmm. Thank God that he closed some doors in our lives. I'm thankful of the doors that they open for opportunity, but they need to close the door of opposition. Amen. Thank God Almighty, still standing because they open and close doors in our lives. Number three, courage. What it did, it stretched us, and it stretches us beyond where we were, where we are now, and where we deserve to be. We are still standing. We are just like the rubber band. The rubber band is only effective when it is stretched. Yeah. I remember messing with my sister. Back in the day, mama would brush my sister's hair. And she would brush it and put it in what you call a ponytail. Mm -hmm. Then you take a rubber band, <laughs> stretch it, get the mic, stretch it. Rubber band to hold, to hold her ponytail in place. Then it, sometimes she would braid a little hat. <laughs> then she would take the rubber band and stretch it, put it on the ends. <laughs> <laughs> on a little plant. <laughs> the rubber band picked on the mic. It's only affected heavy somebody when it is stretched. Otherwise, it's no good. And there's people. Oh we have been stretched to our living. Stretched to our breaking point. We didn't snap. Amen. We didn't break. Still standing because of the power of God that worketh in us. Amen. Thank God Almighty for the power being stretched so God can use us in a powerful way. When the dust settles, when the wind stops blowing, when the storm is over, when the darkness of night turns into day. We can say with a testimony, we are still standing. In my younger days, when I was a kid, four or five years ago, oh, I mean 60 years ago. <laughs> I got confused. <laughs> we didn't have all these really nice electronic games like our kids have today to entertain ourselves. Back in my day when I was a kid, we had what you call an inflatable punching bag. <laughs> With the image of Bozo the Clown on <laughs> And when that, whenever you hit Bozo in his face, he would go down, yeah. but he would come back up. <laughs> no matter how hard you hit Bozo, he would go down, but he would come back up. In fact, that you could even kick Bozo in his face, he would go down, <laughs> but he would come back up. Hit me something like that. We were hit and not tail. Emotional. Abused, misused, and falsely accused. Not tail. Get off the mic. We'll be best. Talk 
Africa. Hip is no kind. Rework. Hip. And knock down financially. Did not loans to buy your home. And on top of that, the FHC Federal Home Administration wouldn't even destroy your home. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, not down financially. 724 billion dollars in the United States, and only seven of African American billionaires. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about financial discrimination. Not down financially. But we bounce. Back up. Let go. Yeah, back in the day we were hit. <laughs> and not damn. <laughs> Socially. <laughs> because we were judged by the color of our skin <laughs> and not by the content of our character. Not But we bounce back up. And not all that we went through, we still was able to bounce back up with a testimony. I'm still standing. Talk to me, son. I'm still standing. I'm almost finished. Hey, hey as African Americans, even as Christians, children of God. We have to continue to teach ourselves and to encourage ourselves. Not to bend. We have to bend with adversity and not break from adversity. Amen? Still standing by the power of God that worketh in us. Paul says it like this. We are troubled on every side. Inside and outside, I got troubles. From the four winds of the earth, I got troubles. North, south, east, west, I got some troubles in my life. But yet in the midst of my troubles, he said, you know what, look, I'm not distressed. It's all good. I'm still standing. God's got my problems and he got me too. He said, we are perplexed. I, I, I can't figure it out. Yeah. And I'm wondering why we were so mistreated as the people looked over, huh? looked down on, not seen as equals. But Paul, you know what? In the midst of it all, I am not in despair because God is bigger than my enemies. First time, Paul, see, I've been persecuted. I, I've been hunted down like a hunter, hung for that deer to put meat on the table for supper. Persecuted, hunted down like a man. <laughs> but I'm not forsaken. The reason that we are not forsaken because we stood on the promises of God that I will never leave you nor forsake you. Paul said, even we've been cast down. And let down. Mm -hmm. But I'm not destroyed. Mm -hmm. Paul said, I'm still standing. So let me close it out here with something else what Paul said. It's Ephesians 6. He said, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his life. He said, Put on the whole armor. Of God. That's be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Again, I please tell you, before I close that, as long as you stand your ground, at the end of the day, your testimony is the devil. I'm not afraid of you. Bring it on. Show me what you're working with. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> At the end of the day, all that you did to me, 
Lord, she didn't kiss me. The devil up to the table today. That I'm still standing. All kind of day today. God bless you today. We are still standing. God bless you today. The doors of the church are now open. For Christian discipleship. For those who may want to accept Christ as Savior and as Lord. Man, woman, poor girl who will confess Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Here's that one today. Christian discipleship has been offered unto you today. God bless you. Have a smile upon you. Amen. 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 Before we